What up, I'm Danny Cass, Monster Shred alumni here to get to introduce one of the beasts on the Unleashed, Lucas Foster here, who's gonna be slaying it. We're here, Mount Hood, getting ready for a big competition season. So he made sure to bring out one of the heaviest hitters in the pipe from a little time back before his time. What are we been working on today? Today we're just boarding. The half pipe out here at Mount Hood is amazing in the summer. It's perfect for trying new tricks, but also just having fun and you know bringing out your style and exploring what snowboarding can offer you. I don't think there's a better person to do that with than the DK. So it's going to be a sick time. Smack that thing. I think I was really inspired by the way Danny approached his career. It seemed like he really didn't give a crap about what people thought and he just did his thing and you know chose the tricks that he wanted to do, his clothing style, you name it. But what I like most is that he kind of brought his friends with him to the top and I think that's what's so cool about snowboarding is you get to make it with your homies and that's what I want to do someday. So I think Danny, he definitely is the king of you know, making a community out of his career. And so I think he's just like the ultimate rock star of snowboarding and I think snowboarders kind of deserve that rock star life. Yeah, and we're getting the GoPro at Lucas. They might be a little wide, but good thing he goes really big. That's so not a big deal. Here's our guy. Oh, back head tail grab. Front side nine. Biggest backside five in the game. Boom, double grab, loop, scale. <laughs> Textbook Lucas Foster warm up run. Nice. We've got some power. Woo hoo hoo! Definitely. Contender coming up for next season. I put a hundred bucks, he's got a medal around his neck. Let's keep it going! Yeah. 
started snowboarding when I was like eight years old just with my parents and grew up free riding in this little town called Telluride in southwest Colorado and pretty much just rode everything in sight, took every opportunity that I could to just get out of Telluride and go snowboard other places, whether it was riding slope style or half pipe or even like racing border cross. I just didn't care, just wanted to ride. And fast forward to now, I'm kind of finding myself competing a lot in half pipe and having a blast, trying to just take advantage of these opportunities and you know enjoy snowboarding all over the world with my homies and I'm stoked on where I'm at. This past season was sick. I got to ride a lot, even though COVID hit us pretty hard, but uh, still got some good contest results and traveled a lot. And uh, I'm on the US pro team now, so I was stoked to make that. And now we're qualifying for the Olympics next season, so can't complain. I've noticed this season you took uh, something that I started. Uh, I'm really excited to see that because I was doing cab 270 drops to cab 10. And you kind of brought it to a whole new level.